Maxi Morales back in the starting lineup for New York City FC and then Burke Risa on the back line. Here is their starting 11, a new left back in Bristow and a really exciting group up top. We welcome you all back to the MLS regular season. Eight matches in action tonight. Let's love the game from City Field in New York City, Minnesota United on the road in the white. Now they're having to defend Minnesota United, getting a chance. Longwane gets it back. And the best chance of the match so far for Minnesota United. Overcommit numbers, but you can't leave yourself vulnerable going back the other way with the talent that Minnesota United has, whether it's Pookie, whether it's Reynoso, whether it's this man who's red hot, second bite at the apple. What about this clever little cutback? The back line for NYC is retreating. He put it into the path of Lengwane. He's going to want this one back. He should be testing Barraza there. Ball over the top. Akrar brings it down with a pillow soft touch. They're standing. Max Morales, no pressure on him. So this back line needs to drop. It's a lack of rotation between Boxel and Tapias. You push. Whether it's Gray or Pellegrini, he's going to stay high and wide. And this side is Kufre. He's creating overloads on all sorts of part of the field. Pellegrini into the box! That one you thought had to go in the back of the net. You change your point of attack, and then he gets lost in the box, just playing off the shoulder of Boxel. And how this ball does not end up in the back of the net is beyond me. It's the run from Maxi Rodriguez that pulls out Tapias. Just need to hit it back across where it came from. But what a fantastic ball this is from Pellegrini. Just begging for that end product. Or crawl their movement. Well, you're not alone. He was acquired August 3rd in a trade from Nashville. Returns to Minnesota. Reynoso. Good touch. Fun to watch that partnership continue to develop. Great goose! What a shot! The visitors stun the crowd here and take the lead. Just comes from nothing. No one closes down the space. Why not have a go? Yes, it takes a wicked deflection off of James Sands. There's nothing that Barraza can do. You talked about the relationship, just the willingness to combine. Gray Goose, he understands if I just get myself in an advanced position, I'm going to try my luck, and why not? You have the ability to pull it from distance. We'll take a brilliant look at it here. Up and over, Luis Barraza. No chance for the goalkeeper. Minnesota United, they have their goal right after halftime. Well, I'm guessing this is offside, unless it was a beautifully timed run from Bacrar. He looks over at the assistant referee, and yes, indeed, that flag is up. Drops in, offside. And a yard or two from Bacrar. Parks threading the needle. Shot! Oh, that was there for the taking. The run from Bacrar just so good because he pulls out Boxel. And as Boxel has that little bit of hesitation. Will it result in a shot? Let's see. Rodriguez! The follow-up! And that was set! The wide channels, and you ask all sorts of questions. It's this lack of rotation from Michael Boxo or Song Bing. And then as this ball gets a second bite at the apple. Mender Garcia and Ismail Tazuri Shadi. The two coming on. Tazuri Shadi was added in the secondary transfer window. Fernandez maybe making up for that one he missed earlier. A chance in the box! Is it saved? It looks like it is! Relationship between Fernandez and Ilenich. The cutback ball is on. I'll tell you what, Sinclair, very lucky man, same as Michael Boxel, doesn't know much about it. But this ball is just so good because it puts a lot of pressure on the back line to drop down and do their defensive duties. Maxi Rodriguez, R Morales, excuse me, makes that late trailing run. Oh, great touch. Fernandez will get it back. More magic. Fernandez, is he tripped up there?
quick ball movement off to corner. Let's take a look at it as it is. Fernandez gets around the corner. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't think you argue that, do you? Uh, well, this I mean, comes in. I don't know if there's a lot of contact on that from that no. angle. And my initial reaction from our vantage point, there's not a lot of contact. I think Fernandez is very clever. He sees Tapias. Just no contact. Yeah, you know, I initially thought that that foot stepped out and got him, but you're right, you can see it step out and hit green grass. This angle is very difficult to see, but I think the backwards <laughs> angle from the backside, you can see. Nope, no penalty. That's not going to make this crowd happy, but I think it's the right decision in the end. You can see a quick glance up. Now Mender Garcia, what will he do this time? He wants insurance, he'll get it. That should put it to bed. You leave yourself extremely vulnerable going back the other way, but give credit to, to Jory Schrotti, the patience, because he understands as Garcia is making this run off the shoulder of Risa, there's no coverage whatsoever. Fantastic strike from the substitute, making his impact felt with the willingness, the hard work. You talked about decision-making moments ago, but so Jory Schrotti understands the real estate, the patience, big three points for the Loons here. And right at the stroke of six minutes, the referee blows his whistle. Final score to nothing, Minnesota.